I did not know they play both the Alpha and the Raphaela. Okay, okay. Again, this is why best of seven is a thing. Like all the things you prepared last night, game by game four, throw it all out. Yeah, it's more reactionary at this point, and who who can have better reflexes in the game and in the draft to win? They matched heal for heal. They buckled down on the idea if your opposing Romer is a healing type, get a healing type as well, yeah. and they take a page out of cover the names. That's an Aurora draft. FDM. Yeah. Honestly, I think we're going to Game 7. Okay. Let's see if that's going to happen see. here. Game 6 feels like it's F-cap-sided. see if Naisu and Ingan thinks the same. You know what? I'm going to speak for the both of us. What? We want Game 7. Of course. We're thinking the same thing. This is going Welcome to be to Mobile Legends. F-cap game to take it all the way. Again, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. The last time that we had a best of seven in the lower bracket final was never it's now yeah so we need seven games and that's what we want now demon kite on the jungle x -Borg. yeah i don't know i'm not i'm not sure how i feel about it we already got a preview of this even back before and so you need a lot to happen here now one of the great interactions between that though is if they can actually get ua to get a really good frigid glacier freeze down then the, obviously it helps even with the last insanity and then you have a lot of utility and mobility because you have the matilda again in the hands of renegade yeah but the thing is again about to take you Brent, taking a page out of aurora's book oguin who would have thought would go for the rafaela paired up again with kyle dc's alpha so even if there's a lot of slows coming in from aurora or hatch okay now they're gonna force out a few flicker okay. renegade as aggressive as he can be oh. will take one and bring down Few. Now the counter attack onto you if right of Ice is there. But still, they're able to take him down. A one for one trade. Good little trades happening here, but you know, the fact that it was UA that goes down, it's going to have a little bit of a delay building up there, but expected from Renegade. Oh, another. Guiding wind. And just uh, look at that. Just not afraid to burst down Marco. Uh oh, okay. He's not there in time. I was just going to say, expected from Renegade earlier on and, and you're seeing it right some of the struggle here with the export jungle showing some of the weak points at least in the beginning of this game but again adjustments are to be made and so far Kyle Kizzi feeling tanky enough on this alpha paired up with the fact that you have Oakwood healing them up they might break out a fight okay ultimate's being casted by the two roamers as Kyle Kizzi works on the back line onto you and there's no passive again AOG coming in from Platizzi but the first man down is Oakwood Virgin Glacier will connect onto two a counter attack coming in from Aurora they might be able to burst out Kyle uh -oh. Super Marco's gonna bring down Domain here as he try to work on Phil, but Phil remains alive and be able to take down Renegade. Phil's still alive? Again, Phil! I was expecting him to go down too, but man, talk about a rotation from Edward to show up for them. The Avatar of the Guardian, he's not able to get the targets he's looking for. And they still have to work through the passive as well from UA once he has it up. So they'll take their time here. Super Marco. So there, Domain's still on the bottom side. They're gonna break it out. Okay, Demon Kai gets a third on AOG. Okay, not gonna connect though, as Aurora trying to disengage Falcon's AP friend, they didn't have a trade. And all throughout, look at Doming just working on the bottom lane, forcing a reaction on the wow, Falcon's AP Bren. Spear of Destruction won't connect oh, though. Land. Oh, the chase. Good Spear of Mystery coming in from Doming. Now Flap Teasy charging his taunt. Oh. It's not gonna connect though. They're trying to go for Doming, but Doming manages to escape. Very closely. Easy. That's why he has to turn on Kyle TZ1. So this time, let's see, a, a huge a, a huge thing that Kyle Deasy needs to do is to burst down the Firaga armor to disable Demon Kite right away before the neutral objectives take place here. Not just even Kyle Deasy, even the other mem members of Falcon Deasy friends as the First Lord will spot. Just send it on Renegade right again. They go forward. You want to go for the zone? Trying okay. to keep it together here. Guiding Wind on out. This is out of the danger. <laughs> uh, arms reach. Lord's still going to be held there, so it is going to go for a reset. They got the Eternal Guard out, so that's not going to be available for you right now. So it's more of keeping things together. Renegade also still doesn't have that Circling Eagle. So we got to wave through this. Domain still working on that wave, pushing it through. Lord still on the reset. Right now, the Tier 1's mid lane for both teams still up too. So pretty much even grounds to work with right now. And neither team really committing. Waiting for those three goals to back up. Renegade is up. Circling Eagle again. Oh, Phew. oh. Oh, they change their target onto Fuel. They want to burst him down, but a flicker is out there. Oh. Now back is AP Brand on the retreat. They're going to bring down Fuel. You were in trouble, though. He then able oh. to cast the Frigid Glacier. But Super Marco will fall down in the hands oh. of Domain. Now the attack from Aurora is just too much for them to handle. Three Bs are down. Kyle's easy with Fear of Alpha just to walk away. And Aurora executed that to perfection, dividing and conquering the 
Titans to gain the advantage for the Clash and get the first Lord. What a good play and a great call for Renege and Demon Kite to switch it up. Well, these initiations with the Circle Eagle, sometimes he's starting up, sometimes he's pulling back, but initially it gets something, whether it's a battle spell or the other. Out from Falcons. They're gonna keep together here, working to keep as much space on the map that they can work in, but right now the top just being focused down from No Mang. Florida waiting down the bottom, slowly making its way. They're holding on to the Holy Shields the best they can, but Rora is looking solid as they approach the base here of Falcon's AP Bread. One last check at the item to see if they have enough firepower. Mid lane Holy Shield down. And slowly but surely that Lord making its way down to the bottom as FCAP eyes off Roar here. They're gonna go oh, in. Oh, Kalkiti goes in for the French play job from you. Might be able to bring down Kalkiti. The Winter Crown play is there. Will they be able to save him? No, they're gonna oh. burst him down in the hands of Demon Kite. The Lord is still there onto the bottom as they work on it. They want to break down an inhibitor. The Lord's still up as Falcon's AP friend works on it. Now, Kyle TZ. That was a huge effort. Oh, they still have minions, Naisu. They can. They're gonna push in, trying to sustain through this, gonna clear the waves. That top turret gonna be the next target from Rora and FCAP in a very dangerous position. Wave's gonna be cleared up, Eternal Guard dropped in, but they hold on for now to the top and mid turret. As Kyle TZ will be back up, that's all Rora's power, but again, it's all about the spacing that they have to work with. It's so hard for FCAP to set up the way they want to because of what Renda J's doing half the time. Yeah, and of, of course also you, uh, again, the crucial French and Glacier. Most of the time, it's not for the offensive, it's for the defensive for to, to for him to enable his squad mates to go and re-engage as they work on the second Lord. 7.3k gold lead for Aurora. And here we go, they find themselves once again in this situation. Falcons AP friend to Kyle TZ pull it off again like he did in the previous game. They're gonna zone him out as much as they can, that mid lane being pushed in top as well for the minions. Edward goes in with the Earth Shatter Flicker combination, AOG to add to right back, but Kyle TZ is gonna fall down. Dome working on bringing down Flap. Two members are gone, Demon Kai also gets the Lord. Flickers are out for back and safety, but Mirror of Destruction coming in from Dome. Gonna do the free hit though, they have minions. They also have the Lord, now Falcons AP Bren. All they need to defend this Naisu. They're gonna keep it together. They got the Lord, now they go mid. Yue goes in with a beautiful stun. Oh. And the bees soar too high to the light as Aurora burns them down to ashes. The light within shines brighter than ever as Aurora seizes the win. A super team dethrones the Titans. And with that, a grand final spot and a chance to go represent the Philippines in M6 in Malaysia. A new world champion will rise in M6. What a series. Man, you said it. What a series. New teams will be representing the Philippines. And this super team has been doubted even for the start of the season and we can hear the crowd chanting M6 because they have finally booked the ticket.